What's up? It's HiringADrone.com and today I got a video for you and I'm going to be showing you uh, a follow-up video to one of the originals that I posted on YouTube about me having some engine issues with one of my motors on my tarantula. Um, the gear actually being ground down. Originally I thought it was one of the white gears. Uh, turns out uh, after getting my parts and comparing them it was actually the gear on the motor, uh, which is aluminum or metal of some sort, maybe copper, not quite sure. And that actually ground down before the uh, white gear, uh, which is plastic, which is really odd. So uh, someone on YouTube pointed that out in the comment sections. So definitely a big thumbs up. Thanks for helping out on that. Um, so I'm going to go over, you know, what the issue was that I was having. Uh, maybe I'll try to splice in the sound so you can kind of see and hear and uh, Hopefully this video will help you be able to fix it. I'm just gonna give you a fair warning I'm kind of a noob uh, when it comes to Quadcopters my knowledge on fixing them parts uh, is next to nothing so proceed with caution and uh, Try not to listen to anything I say uh, if you're reckless and uh, You want some uh, bad info and this is probably the video for you. So let's get started here. So originally I thought it was the uh, white sprockets that were the issue. On the left hand side here is the original motor that I had. Uh, and I'm not sure what caused it. Rex, uh, maybe the gear being bent. Maybe the bearing because the bearing gets stuck to the gear, the white gear when I take it out. But as you can see there's a groove in here that's been worn away which doesn't allow the white sprocket to fully catch when it spins. So it skips and doesn't allow the quadcopter to fly. So this is a brand new motor that I purchased. And this is a new gear. And as you can see, it's solid all the way through. It doesn't have this kind of hourglass shape here from being eaten away. Maybe someone can explain you know why this would happen motor could just be cheap parts could be cheap uh, someone did point out on my youtube channel that you can actually purchase these top pieces so this motor still might be good um, you know these are 99 cents from china so maybe i can just get one of these and still salvage this motor um, originally what i thought it was was the gears so this is a brand new gear uh, I'll try to put it up against my finger so you can see how deep the teeth are. And this is the old gear um, with the teeth. The teeth are a little bit worn down, but overall, I mean, they look about the same size. Now, this one's a little bit black because I do fly in the desert in the sand. So that gunk gets built up in there. Um, as you can see on my gear here. Uh, the bearing doesn't like to come off. I think the screw hole here is probably part of that, but you know, with some force, it will come off. Um, I don't know if it's been bent or if it's just, you know, a little excess right there for the screw hole. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together, the motor, the, uh, gear and put the bearing back on there. Also the propeller try to give it a test run uh, let it kind of run for about five minutes or so I hear that's what you're supposed to do and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to take this sucker up for a flight so first things first I use this little magnet thing here um, if you can see my screws are on there very helpful uh, doesn't look like I can get a good shot of it um, but what I have on there is I have my two motor screws, which are very small, my propeller screw. I just have it holding them right now. I have my standard screwdriver that comes with it from the tarantula. It is magnetized. Uh, you can rub a magnet on there uh, to also strengthen uh, the magnet attraction on there. So let's get into trying to fix this sucker. So... You know, the first thing you got to do whenever you're repairing the motor is that you got to get the white gear out of there. 
so that way it can expose the screws with the screws here so that way you can take the motor out I've already done this and there's the empty motor hole you can see the cables here are black and red not sure if there's negative or positive uh, I do know one thing I'm just gonna match them up uh, so that would probably make the most sense got my uh, my bearing here I'm missing the bearing on the bottom because that's the one that was stuck to my gear if you're wondering what the hell this cable is uh, I put this in here th through the back venting on the GIS and it actually goes and holds my GoPro or my knockoff my SJ4000 when I'm flying so in case it breaks off the battery you know this catches it drone wrecks but you know what I don't lose my uh, my wannabe GoPro and can't find it so you know this thing I believe I got it with the GoPro case you can buy these things at Walmart they're cheap or make one of your own some sort but it'll definitely save uh, save your GoPro so don't mind that if it gets in the way but so first things first is we're gonna put the motor in and so this is the brand new one and this is going to go on this side and I'm going to put it in to where this wire is on the outside so that way I can connect to the wires that run internally so I push it down as you can see it's in there and now I need to screw this in so this is a little bit tricky, so this is where the magnetized screwdriver comes in super handy because, I mean, these screws are tiny, super tiny. So I'm going to get it fitted on there. And the first one I'm going to go for is going to be this back one right here. So hopefully I can get it in the first time. My video actually just shut off, but so... As you can see, I got lucky. I got the screw in there. If you look here in the back, first try, pure luck. So we're gonna go for the second motor mount screw. These things are super tiny. So this is extremely tough to do. Uh, you know, especially if you don't have the best vision. So you really gotta hope to get it the first time in there. Sometimes these things will, will turn a little cockeyed on you right about when you're ready to get in the hole. Which sucks. Seems to be what's going on with me. So hopefully I'll get some some luck here. Alright, so looks like I got in the hole. I'm going to tighten it down. And don't want to get it too tight, but tight enough. And now, as you can see, my motor is secure. And the motor seat there. The bearing is in. And so I'm going to use my new clean sprocket here. Or gear, I'm sorry. I'm going to put that in there. And now if you take a look, these two make contact, which was the issue in the past. Um, they weren't making contact. And it could be because this was bent uh, from wrecking it. I'm not quite sure. Um, but now it is making contact before it wouldn't or it would skip. And it wouldn't allow the tarantula to take flight. So lining up the propeller... It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, you know, you got to get the holes just right. You know, make sure you're going for the bigger one. So let me kind of twist this around so then that way, kind of try to aim this up and hopefully get it on the first try. And then, you know, when you're looking at your propeller, there's 
usually two different size holes as you can see the one on the back is a little bit smaller one on the front that one has been used considerably so it's a little easier to get in I'm going to line the two holes up push down until I hear it click now it should be secured in there as long as I don't bump it too hard so next thing I'm going to do I'm going to get the screw in there And I'm going to try to go into the smaller one. So I'm in. Everything looks good. I tighten it down. So for the most part it looks pretty tight on there, there's a little bit of a wobble, hope that doesn't cause that issue. Um, just kind of checking the rest of them, see if I got a wobble on any of them. Some of the other ones feel like they got a little bit of a wobble. So hopefully this is good enough to hold it. Um, when we look underneath, it's turning it 100%. Uh, as opposed to the problem in the past so I, I think the, the issue was you know these two were on here the screw maybe came a little bit loose and this constant moving up and down up and down up and down eventually wore it out to where it was not catching you know up down up down so that's my conclusion after putting together this and taking a better look at it. So the last thing to do is just connect these two wires here on the um, on the motor to the cable that runs inside the arm into the control board. So this is fairly easy to do. We're just gonna put these two together, try to get a better angle on it. So that way you can see well on camera. Um, these just slide into it, which are really easy to do. And then the motor has been replaced. The gear has been replaced. And the propeller is back on. So there's some excess on here. It looks like these uh, motors come with a little bit of excess. So we're going to tuck those down inside the gap so you'll notice there's a gap between get a close-up of this there's a gap between the motor and the actual um, body cover there and the motor seat and the motor casing so I packed those down in there and now it's time I can put on the motor mount so when the motor mount goes over covers it up so that way you know it looks similar to this so as you can see I got a lot of grime on mine again that's from flying in the desert but last thing is is you know like I said put on the motor mount here and then uh, test it see if uh, this thing runs good so I'm gonna run it for about five minutes and make sure all the engines are running and hopefully get this thing back up in the sky. So the controller's been bound, and so now I'm gonna test the motors to make sure everything's spinning correctly. Uh, you wanna break these motors in, especially the one that I just replaced, uh, because they are uh, brush motors, so they need to be broken in prior to taking it for a flight. So I'm gonna give some gas here. I'm gonna put the trim so that one's not spinning quite as fast as the other one. Give it a little bit easier of a load and uh, let's see if I fixed it.
All right, awesome. So it's working. You know, if this uh, video helps you out in any way, repair your quadcopter, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel.